Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> there is a reason why it took a little longer for this video to come out. I wanted to wait until the fourth episode of Jujutsu Kaisen dropped so I could get, you know, pretty much all what I felt what I felt was gonna be potentially all the information to gather from our boy today, and that is Toji. What's going on, guys? My name is Toso, and today we're here to talk about Toji. Toji the demon, Toji the god, Toji the deal. Toji, bro. This dude is a fucking problem. And this anime did the perfect job showcasing just how much of a fucking demon this guy all fucking is. I, I said Dio for a reason because I didn't know the voice the voice actor for, for Dio was actually uh, Toji in this too. So which made me a little bit more excited. I'm not gonna lie, it made me a little more excited. So... Let's go ahead and dive into why why I, th I feel as though this man is not from Earth and he's from Hell. Ah! From the very beginning, when I uh, saw him placing bets, I knew he was going to be a threat. I already knew it. You want to know how I knew? Just the introduction of him was so casual. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, when villains are introduced, they're, like, they're typically like, no, nah, I'm going to show up. I'm going to take care of you. I'm that guy. He showed up, he was like, ah, yeah, he needs money. Yeah. Uh, you said my kid? What's his name again? <laughs> that the noodle shop scene where the dude was like hey you made me spill my noodles and he just he was on the phone told you was on the phone bro he was on the phone and crouched and looked him dead in his face and was just he didn't even say anything to him he was like bro what 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 is it what is it you want me to pay for this hmm? Hmm? you want me to feed it to you hmm? Hmm? Shut your old ass up what, what is with these old people in this fucking show it's fucking ridiculous but not only that let's talk about probably the biggest amount of savagery this show has showcased so as we know because he will be getting his own video soon gojo he uh as a kid you know he awakened into the i guess what they, what do they call it the six eyes of the limitless or something like that this, this he's a broken kid and toji is known for just you know being a savage you know he kills people he stalks them assassinations probably gets paid for it or whatever so he wanted to see the new kid that was born into these special eyes. Now, typically, when Toji stalks somebody, you, you can't, you, you don't, you almost don't notice him. You don't notice him. You never notice him. He's, he's quick with his feet. He's quiet on his toes. Like, he's just, he's really with it. He's really with it. Gojo, as a kid, turned around and was just like, hold on, I feel somebody staring at me. <laughs> hold on, this don't feel right. And Toji was baffled by that. You could, it was a fuck, it was a slow mo frame of him thinking back to that day, and his eyes widened like I've never seen before until episode four. <laughs> until episode four. So he was actually shocked that Gojo was actually able to detect his presence, which no one was able to do before. Since that day, mind you, there's a reason why I brought that up. Since that day, Toji said, "Yeah, nah, man, this is this guy gotta go." I get, I get he's a child, but fuck that, man. This this kid, he he saw me when he was like 10. I can't let this nigga hit 15. It's gonna be a oh, fucking sweatshop. He was the oh, one that was kind of setting everything up to wear Gojo down. Because in the third episode, Gojo had his ability active where, you know, people can't really break through his barrier. And he's pretty much overpowered and everything like that. And so in the third episode, they were really like trying to give uh, Rico, because I got her name right this time, Rico... A nice life. They're like, you know what? You, you're, you're getting ready to turn into an old man vessel shit. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and like just treat you to You want to go to the spa, huh? You want to go to a resort? Go to a restaurant? You want to get your feet rubbed? You want to do just some, some nice sips and some nice sweet shit, you know? Gojo stayed up that entire time, though, from the point of them retrieving Rico and onward up until they brought her back to Jujutsu High, which was like a day and a half, if not two days, maybe three. I don't remember how much it was, but it was quite some time, and Gojo had his ability active the entire time. So they finally step into the school. Finally step into the school, and I think it was Geto that was like, hey, bro, you want to, you know, we safe now. You can go ahead and turn your ability off. Gojo's like, hey, man, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I got these bags. And I'm like, oh! immediately clapped the minute he dropped his ability because toji was waiting dude was fucking waiting for him to do that and then proceeds to just go 
Pam, the fight's starting, and and get Ghetto has to go get everybody up to safety. Meanwhile, Gochi has got to hold off, hold off, to, hold off, hold off Toji, and Toji's over here moving like a goddamn ninja, He's moving like this is Shonen, the uh 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 I'm Shonen, uh, Naruto. <laughs> Moving like this is Naruto, jumping from tree to tree, moving all over the goddamn place. The animation couldn't even keep up. They're doing blurry lines and streams and streams and pleams and all this crazy behind shit. So then Gojo's like, you know what? Let me go ahead and turn up the animation. Let me go ahead and go 4D real quick. Turn up the shade and give me about four to five layers. Gather all the rubble and everything in the vicinity of me and just throw some shit. Completely misses. Toji throws some flies at him. And then Gojo gets distracted. Because he's like, oh shit, you know, I gotta make sure they're safe. And then he, t Toji pops up, penetrates through the fucking Damn. barrier, and stabs Gojo. Several times. Now, granted, if I was Toji and this was my job, I'm doing the same thing. This kid noticed me when he was eight years old, or seven, or five, or however old he was. He is getting this work. Dude got stabbed up his legs, sliced through his chest, through the fucking throat. Toji said, I can't do this, bro. He was so into it, his fucking pupils disappeared. You know you love your job to a degree. You love it when you're, you're, you're over here smiling villainly, viciously. Let's jump ahead. So we jump ahead, and, and Ghetto gets Rico down to the, the big-ass tree where the assimilation is supposed to take place. So then Go Ghetto's like, you know what? Honestly, you don't have to do this. You know, we, me and Gojo, we talked about it on the way here. Were you willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ting and Sama? Now, granted, I'm going to say this, my little personal opinion. Let somebody have Sama at the end of their name. Sama meaning, God, you got me completely twisted, bitch. I ain't fighting nobody at all. I'm staying my ass home in that recliner with a fucking coffee cup in my hand. And I'm chilling. Or, or maybe some tea. Crackers. I don't know. I'm not fighting God or anything. You, this is not Final Fantasy, okay? I'm not none of these dudes. So then Rico starts crying. She's like, oh my God. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even know that was an option. Like, I can't believe. I can't did, did believe. Did I just catch you on the beach? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Bruh, Toji is such a fucking demon. You 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 could have just I, I I don't know. You could have off screened her. <laughs> you know? And the whole the anime's fucked up for this one too. They were playing the credits, the uh, the outro song, it was making it all sweet, like oh my gosh, like she's about to get her life back and all this different for her, the music get cut off and she got shot in her head. Shot in her head, bruh. That's the weapon of choice you use to take out this 14-ass girl, bro? Are you serious? And Gato's like, bro, where the fuck is Gojo? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he, he dead, bro. He <laughs> dead. I took care of him. I took with that being said, with me talking about Toji and, you know, giving my examples on how he's a fucking fiend, if you watch the rest of the fourth episode, you know who's coming next. <laughs> you know who's coming next right after Toji. I, 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 I ironically kind of did this in sequential order. I really was just going to go kind of random. Well, with each episode I watched, I was like, okay, you're literally showcasing the next video for me. So with that being said, thank you guys for listening in. Uh, you can check out the latest art piece here. And the previous video that I did, Ghetto is him. You guys really went crazy for that video. And I, I really do appreciate the support that I've been receiving from you guys. You guys have been very receptive for just like the style and everything. And you guys are like, <laughs> I really appreciate you guys uh, basically kind of seeing that I'm quote unquote underrated, which I, I would never call myself that because I, I just, I don't know, I like to be humble a little bit. I, I, I value the work rather than the results or the numbers that come from it. But I really do appreciate you guys supporting me and things of that nature. And I'll see you guys in the next video.